if you guys thought that this administration wasn't a big joke at this point, you'll be dead wrong. And I would, I would say, are you living under a rock or something? Because ever since this administration took, took office, it's just been hell after hell after joke after joke. Because these mofos do not know what the hell they're doing. And instead of taking accountability for policies that, that they put in place and things that they're not doing, prime example, the, the whole oil and gas, they bl they blaming Putin instead of you know blaming themselves for shutting down that Keystone pipeline that could have made oil and gas and like U.S. dependent instead of relying on foreign countries and Saudi Arabia coming to and uh, Venezuela coming to United States saying like yo we see you you have, you have problems with uh, Putin and Russia so how much how much you gonna pay us for oil I, you know just, you know just Stuff like that that could be just that could be fixed with just one piece of paper, one piece of paper, and to make it e e even more laugh even more laughable, let me got let me guys show you that this this freaking article from uh, the Blaze Media about how this administration does not know what the hell they're doing because these guys are literally going to TikTok influences for social for some advice. Or they, or they, they, they briefing them on, on some stuff about Russia, even though what the hell does TikTok ha have to do with anything Russia? I, I thought TikTok was was owned by, by was owned by China, but let me go in and uh, let me go in and, and read out this article from uh, Blaze from the Blaze. White House briefed TikTok stars on Ukraine invasion. Jen Psaki told influencers that Russia hacked 2016 election. Oh, here we go again with this crap. The White House welcomed popular personalities from the Chinese social media platform TikTok to deliver a briefing on the Russian invasion of Ukraine to the influencers. During the briefing, White House press secretary puts a claim that the 2016 election was hacked by what Russians. The White House spoke to 30 top TikTok stars on a Zoom call on Thursday, according to the Washington Post. Exact, but first of all, why are you talking to TikTok guys when there's literally a war going on? You guys should be more focused on fixing problems here in the, U in the U.S. But you more worried about talking to TikTokers. What the hell? What uh, What does TikTok, what does, what power do they have in, in order to fix this, fix this country? Vote, tell them people to vote blue so this country could, could be more crappy? This administration is a joke. And they think you're stupid. And some and some people are for actually relying on, on this administration for to do anything. But let's keep on going. Uh the White House has been closely closely watching TikTok rise as a, as a dominant news source. TikTok is a news source now. Leading to its decision to approach a select group of the platform's most influential names. This week the administration began working with Gen Z for a change, a nonprofit advocacy group to help ad identify top content creators on the platform to orchestrate a briefing aimed at answering questions about the conflict of the United States role in it. That should not be on TikTokers. That should be on, on the government. That should be Jen Psaki's job. But she's going to TikTokers to do her job for her? Just goes to show how pathetic Jen Psaki is as a press secretary. Psaki told the influencers, th thank you all for everything you're doing. I mean, use of your platforms to educate, to inform, to debunk, to dis to disify doing what is very tumultuous. I, I think that's what it says. Heartbreaking time in the, in the world is remark is remarkable, and we recognize the value of of your platforms. Again, how much how much you want to bet these these guys are, are, are freaking left leaning, LG, LGBT, LGBT freaking uh LGBT trans people? Not a none against trans people, man. But some of y'all be tripping. That like for real that that this old wanting to groom kids in Florida that needs to stop. Uh, the flap the platform the influencers use is is the Beijing based short form short form of video app TikTok, which has been uh, scrutinized for potentially having security risk. The Department of Defense stated that the social media app features potential security risks associated with its use. 
In 2020, the U.S. Army and Navy prohibited TikTok from being used on government issue phones. Last July, the massively popular social media app gave itself permission to collect biometric data of U.S. users, which includes face prints and voice prints. Uh, Jules, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, that last name, uh, a TikTok personality who was born in Ukraine, claimed the, uh, the officials at the meeting dodged hard questions and said the energy of, of the, of the cop the call felt like a press briefing for kindergartners. Just go to show that this, that this administration ha has no idea what they, what they're doing. But let's keep going here, people. One of the influences at the briefing on the war in Ukraine is Ellie Zaylor, an 18-year-old, an 18-year-old with over 10.5 million followers on TikTok, where she typically dances and and does makeup tutorials. This is what this administration is going for, for aid, for news, for the, the, the conflict that's going on with Russia and Ukraine. Jeff Osaki went to TikTokers and said, thank you for your, for your hard work. For being left-wing pandering people. For, de for debunking, for fact-checking. All these people, it, it just goes to show all, all, all these people are being paid off. They, these people are paid off left-wing loonies. They, they, the, this, this Biden administration is going to TikTok for advice? Is that, is that where we, where we at right now? And the people think that this administration is not a joke? Guys. I done, I done heard it all. I done seen it all. But the fact that freaking this administration is going to TikTokers for for advice or praising them for for news coverage, it just goes to show how low this administration this, this administration is. But guys, I just want to pin here. If you guys like what I'm saying, like I'm subscribed to the video, uh, hit the notification bell. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.